I grew up in Southern California. I was born in East Los Angeles and uh, spent my uh, formative years in Venice Beach. Both my parents were from the Venice and Santa Monica area. Uh, however, uh, there was no church in my life other than maybe someone picking my brother and I up every <clears throat> once in a while and taking us to a church. So I was exposed to uh, Christianity at an early age, but in our house there was never really any talk of religion. Uh, it was never anti-religious, I can say that. Unfortunately, my, my dad was, uh, was an alcoholic and he uh, died at a young age. So uh, my brother and I were pretty well raised by my mom. Uh, after uh, I got out of the Navy, uh, which I joined right out of high school, I uh, f found myself in the printing industry and uh, then uh, stayed in that most of, my, most of my life. I had quite a few successes as far as being self-employed, yet there was always something that, that was missing. Uh, I was happy with what I had, ch had achieved, but there was always something, something more that it just didn't seem right, so there wasn't a balance in my life. In 1980, uh, I had just been divorced, remarried shortly thereafter, and opened a new business in Lompoc, California. Again, a printing business and my wife and I were looking for a church and there's an old saying you can't find Jesus in the Yellow Pages. It's kind of an old song. However, at that time the Yellow Pages were still a pretty big deal. So we looked in the Yellow Pages and we found a Nazarene church. And my wife, who was a Christian and was raised in a Christian family, and I decided to try the Nazarene church. Well, to our great uh, fortune, the pastor was a gentleman named Tom Wilson, and Tom was just an outstanding pastor, and he he spoke with such conviction. I just went there uh, as a like an open book, just fill in the blanks. I, I you know I want to I want to hear I want to hear more, and because of his conviction and because of his dedication to what he was talking about, I could sense he was genuine. And so everything that he said had more validity. And because of that, 35 years ago, I gave my life to Christ. And that has been a day, I can't tell you the exact date, but that has been a day that has influenced me for the last 35 plus years. And uh, Christ has been a part of our lives daily for the last 35 years. We've tried to influence our children as much as we can. However, as most of you know, they have a mind of their own and uh, some of them have drifted away and some of them have come back. So uh, without Christ in our life, we wouldn't have that balance. We, we wouldn't have the, the, uh, the bread that the, the Word of God has given us and also the, the friendships that uh, we have uh, been able to make with people that we would have never had any contact with. We wouldn't have anything in common with them. But Christ brings that together for all of us and it's something that is the most priceless thing that I think that we have uh, ever experienced. And the grace, the grace that Christ has given us is the greatest gift of all.